Hi, thank you for joining us for Q&A. Today, I am joined by Dave Rowan, who is a hardware solution architect here at RF Smart. Dave is joining me via Zoom from Denver, Colorado. Dave, thanks for jumping on this call with me. Hi, Sarah. It's great to be here uh, from the home office. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So before we get into your hardware tip for today, can you give us some tips around decontaminating devices? I know that's a hot topic right now. Yeah, obviously, you know, right now it's really important for everyone to wipe their devices down. Um, when it comes to our, the mobile handheld computers we sell, it, you know, it, they're all different depending on the manufacturer. So I do recommend you check with your manufacturer as far as the specific uh, cleaning tools you can use on them. But obviously, you know, before and after using it, let's make sure we wipe down everything the best we can. And as far as healthcare environments, I know some of those devices are made differently. So if you are in a healthcare environment, you may be able to use a disinfecting wipe. Again, check with your manufacturer. Is that right, Dave? Yes. So there, there are some specifics as far as what exact chemicals you should be using on the devices. So for those healthcare devices, they can use uh, a little bit stronger chemicals, more more stuff you can use on it. Um, you can still wipe down the, the non-health grade models, uh, but that's definitely something you should check in the, in the specifications with the uh, manufacturer. Thanks, Dave. So what is your quick tip for hardware? My, my quick tip uh, for hardware is going to be the, the use of staging applications. Now, Zebra and Honeywell are, are you know, our two biggest manufacturers that, that we sell. And they all, the, both of them have free staging applications. Now staging is gonna be the ability to use an application on your computer to configure a device. And then not just configure a device, but save the copy, that golden copy of exactly what you want on that mobile computer on your application. Now, these are free apps that I always recommend that our customers download, even if they're never gonna use them. Uh, the reason why this is so valuable is just having the application on your system can really save hours of troubleshooting time if you do get into if you need it and you need to contact our smart it really helps for you to the customer to have that application on your system it just makes it a lot easier for us to work with you and then you know it's possible if you get good enough at it if the customer gets gets proficient enough at this application uh, they can reach out to us and uh, out to us and ask us how to make small modifications, and it can be a very quick conversation and just kind of uh, you know go back and forth, and, and we can let them know what what they need to do on that app, and it's it just saves a lot of time. It sounds like this would be helpful for anyone with hardware devices. So, what's the best case for provisioning your devices? So, you know, it's really valuable when you have, uh, when a customer has multiple sites. So, for example, they might have one central site where they have their power user or their admin user, and they know the software well, or maybe they don't, maybe they do. Uh, but those other smaller locations or the other locations, they might not have access to it. Um, so when they have an issue with the device, it can be really useful for that uh, central hub, that power user, uh, to be able to uh, make an edit using that application. Or like I said, still reach back to us at RFSmart, uh, but having that application is going to help them manage their various sites. Um, that's, so if, if you have multiple sites, uh, it's, it's really important that you have the ability to kind of uh, transfer files and be able to, to share with each other or else each site's going to be doing everything manually. It sounds like being able to easily customize your settings from anywhere in the world is very, very valuable. What are some other reasons that this could be valuable, especially during this time? So, you know, obviously it's, there, there, are, there are some customers that are, you know, working on skeleton crews or maybe they're working from home. Uh, I, I know personally some some of the admin uh, device users are working from home and I'm having conversations with them doing tests with the handheld computers from their home office. So, it, you know, in that situation, it's actually really, uh, uh, like really important that they have that application or else they won't really be able to do that testing. And, you know, we, we don't know how long we're gonna be working from home. And so it's, it's, it's even more important that we have the ability to, to do everything from home that we normally would do in the office. 
And it sounds like that this is a good tip for customers who might be seeing an increase in orders. Maybe they are in e-commerce or they're selling safety or cleaning related products. And maybe they've seen a, a huge uptick in the inventory that they're going through at this time. So it would be very easy if they need to add devices or add users to just be able to swipe that barcode and, uh, and be able to set up their devices. So Moving on to our next question, can you share a story of a current RF Smart customer who has implemented this process? Yeah, so we, we have a customer. Um, so, you know, they, they have a, a, an admin user who, you know, took a lot of ownership of the, of the handheld computer project, and he really wanted to learn the provisioning software. And in this particular case, it was a Honeywell, uh, they use Honeywell devices, so this is going to be the Honeywell Enterprise Provisioner. That's that's the name of the Honeywell staging application. Um, and he learned everything there was to learn about it and then took all that information and went to the other sites, their other company, company sites, got them set up with the staging application and just went all around and, and did that at all, all of their sites. And to be expected, a lot of those sites did reach out to me and ask questions about the, the app. That's again, it's to be expected there, you know, no one's going to be an expert on this just after, you know, using it for a month or so. But the fact that they had it installed on their system and they had some sort of golden image saved on their system, I was able to, to really easily work with all those different sites. And it was all because of this one admin user that, that kind of did all that prep work uh, beforehand. So they're, they're really set up for success. And now our conversations are, are much more detailed and really kind of getting into the weeds because they've already mastered that foundation and kind of created that so uh that's that's definitely that was definitely really impressive and you know for the it comp for the it departments that are really looking to take ownership of those projects uh it's really good to have that software you know it's kind of like uh uh they they're, they become experts the, the same way we are in the hardware so it's great that's awesome. So as we wrap up today, I'd like to remind those of you watching that if you have questions for Dave or for our team, you can email info at rfsmart.com and then we will also link the apps that we talked about today in the description of this video. So thank you, Dave, for coming on our show and thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you.